All right, y'all about to see what happened from the other day. And I'm gonna show y'all something crazy. I can't believe I caught this. Check it out. All right, so I'm out here bass fishing. I didn't even bring my GoPro today because I just really wasn't messing with the camera. I didn't think I'd catch anything worthwhile to film. But today, something happened that has never happened to me. And I've been fishing for 24 years, 25 years, something like that. Oh man, check this out. Never have I ever caught an alligator snapping turtle, ever. And I was bass fishing, we caught about five, five nice bass. And I hooked this snapping turtle, this alligator snapper. Man, this is crazy. I'm waiting on George to get back with a net so we can get him in the thing and put him in a bucket so we got something to keep him in. So y'all stay tuned. Let's get him in. First time ever in my life catching one of these. Man, that was crazy. I had to sit and wait for George over there to go all the way back down the canal, get a bucket and a net so we can get him up. Not the biggest of ones ever, but it's my first and man this is crazy dang man look at that snap that is crazy wow got me with his freaking last foot the snapper snapped you right. well y'all seen the other day when i caught this thing and man this was such a surprise Friggin', I threw the bait out there. I'm fishing with a sapphire blue crawfish from Zoom like I always do. I throw it out there, it sinks to the bottom, it goes boom, boom. I was like, all right, that's a bass. Boom, set the hook. When I set the hook, I felt nothing but weight, and I was like, man, I'm hung up. And sure enough, I start reeling, but none of my drag's coming off, but it feels like I had something on there. So I'm thinking the whole time, big bass, big bass, big bass. And I'm thinking he's swimming with me. So sure enough, I pull him in, and all as I see are these ridges on his back like that and then i see the head and i knew exactly what he was once i seen the head and man that was just like i've always wanted to catch one of these and to catch one on a soft plastic is crazy i know that they catch them on like in hoop nets and they catch them on jug lines and turtle lines and stuff like that but i've never even i've only seen three in the wild that i've ever seen i know they have more but the whole thing about these turtles is they're not like other turtles. These turtles pretty much stay in the water the majority of the time. The only time they ever come out is just for the female to go lay eggs. That's it. That's the only time. Other than that, they pretty much just like sea turtles. That's the only time they come out is to lay the eggs. And what they do as a predator is they just sit there on the bottom just like this. They got excellent camouflage and all they do is sit here and they beautifully camouflage like that. And all they do is just sit and wait and when a fish comes by i'm gonna show you how high he bites the fish later he waits for him and he wiggles this little pink tongue that little appendage that he uses he wiggles that tongue and when a fish comes in snap that's how he gets the fish or a crawfish or a frog or a salamander or anything so they pretty much only eat meat if you look real closely on these little appendages on his neck because they suck in oxygen and they can sit on the bottom for 40 to 50 minutes and uh just sit there lying and wait. And whenever they come up to the top of the water is why you don't see these that much is this, that little bitty nose with the beak is they sit there and they poke that up out the water and that's the only thing you'll ever see most of the time. You won't even see the back of the turtle. They're not like normal turtles, you know. These turtles have been around since the Cretaceous period. So holding this in my hand is basically taking a step back in time with dinosaurs. It's just absolutely crazy that I caught this on a soft plastic. Also, if you look around the eyes, they have like, it looks like almost like a flower. Eyes, those things right there, they detect vibrations. That's how they know when prey is near, maybe they can move themselves into a spot to feed on some prey. <clears throat> this is the largest turtle in North America. I'm pretty sure this is a female because on the bottom down here, it's got a rounded on the bottom of the uh, shell, it's got, it's rounded and her reproductive parts are real close to the back of the shell. And from what I've read is that on the male, the male's tails are longer and they also have their uh, parts further down. So the females are closer in and the males are further down. So the females usually only get about 50 pounds in size, that'll be about the biggest but the males can get up to 220 pounds. They've had a report in Kansas, but it's not verified that it was a 400 pound alligator snapping turtle. 
this snapping turtle inhabits the canals, river systems of the Mississippi and Missouri, and especially down here in the swamps of South Louisiana where I'm from. So, what I'm probably gonna do with this girl is I'm gonna build a nice pond for her up in my shed. And uh, that'll act like a greenhouse during the winter. She'll be perfectly safe and she'll be well taken care of. But for now, I'm gonna show y'all what that mouth can do. It's like a big beak and they have some of the strongest bites in all the animal kingdom. Yep, beautiful animal. So one of the things, the way that this turtle feeds is it just sits and wait, just like it is right now, and it wiggles that tongue. And you can see that tongue just wiggling right now. And what happens is a fish comes in there and tries to bite that, tries to get that worm, and that's exactly what happens right there. You can look right here. Those are his bite marks. This ain't one of those alligator snapping turtles that's big enough to be able to bite through a whole broomstick like this. It's not big enough to bite through a whole broomstick like this. It's not big enough. It's probably about 12 inches on the shell. And, uh, the thing about this turtle, why you can put your hands behind the head, is they got a bony plate back here. But what they do do is jump. They like to jump, just like that. And that's how they can reach out a little bit further. But they don't have a really long neck. See, from here, a common snapping turtle could bite it. But see, these, they won't be able to do that. But see, they'll sit there and they'll bite it. See if we can get them a loud chomp on this one. Ah, there you go. Got it good. You do not want to be on a receiving end of a bite like this. It will take your fingers clean off. Such a beautiful creature. There we go. And it's just crazy to actually catch something like this on soft plastic. I mean, it's, it really just humbles me. It's like, you know, I've been wanting to catch a big bass for so long and I thought I had one and then I catch this. And man, this is awesome. But I tell you what, I'm gonna take very good care of this turtle. I'm gonna put him in a 300 gallon uh, Rubbermaid container. And I'm gonna put some rocks in there with a filtration system. And he we got to come up with a name for this baby. Let's call her Priscilla. <laughs> but I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, drop a comment. And let me know how y'all like the video. Later.